y'all doing? I've been trying to record this video twice and somebody calling me, interrupting me. But um, let me try it one more time. Um, I'm here to talk about these Bible changes. And what I mean by the Bible changes is I don't want to be a hypocrite. And what I mean by I don't want to be a hypocrite, because I remember back in the day, way before this Mandela effect, I used to, it really used to irritate me when people say, oh, what's Jesus' real name? Or when did he really die? Or what color is he? And I used to tell folks, why are you being so particular? You know? What 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 do it matter what color he is? As long as he, he was Jesus, as long as you believe that he died on the cross for your sin, what matter what day he died on? He just is it's, it's the more important is he died and he rose again with all power in his hand. It used to irritate me, so I don't want to be a hypocrite, and that's why I don't talk about all the changes in the Bible, and because you know I remember the word says that we. Um, we um, walk by faith, not by sight. So we believe because we have faith to believe. And the word of God is expired by him, you know. And so the Bible, they perverted the Bible when they first tried to translate it when it, it was overseas. And, you know, then they had to retranslate it again and try to make some sense of it. So... People have been trying to pervert the Bible for centuries. Now, what they're doing now is demonic because now they're taking your Bible out your house and changing it. But some of the changes I don't fight over because, you know, I don't like to be particular about um, certain things like do wine skin bottle take away from the story? No, it don't. And, you know, I know something had to be new and he couldn't put nothing old on top of it. I just like um, taking some spoiled ground beef and put some new ground beef in it. If you do that, it's still going to all be spoiled. And so um, some of the things, it it, it it don't really, it really don't change nothing. I mean, like um, stuff instead of possession don't change nothing, you know. Uh, even even um, um, David being called a um, king, I mean, or, or a governor, you know, I mean, and, that, and Daniel being called a, a governor or president, you know, he still was in a leadership role, so it don't change nothing. It's just I know I know it wasn't there, but I don't want to get to that point where I, I try to cross all the I's and dot all the T's. Only time I really worry is when they started changing the subject of what's going on. Like the one that says the Ark of the Testimony, which that changes the storyline because it wasn't no Ark of the Testimony. Or when you have a scripture like two men in one bed when it wasn't there. And you know, that's changing the storyline. But and and when they say that uh, Noah found grace, grace was not in the Old Testament. You know, it came after Jesus died for our sins. He found favor, so it changes the storyline. But all of the ands and thous and the the those and stuff that's uh, uh, really nitpicking. I don't. I don't really. Um, I don't really focus on that because then you lose sight on on what we have left, you know. And I tell uh, all of my subscribers and anybody that's listening to this thought for the day, that's the whole purpose is to get what you can get out of the Bible that's true. Now we really have to study to show ourselves approved rightfully dividing the word of truth. Because now we have um, lies entangled with the truth. Now you have to um, really ask God to give you understanding. Or get under a pastor that really knows his word. And not just reading it and preaching what he read. But knowing what he read and teaching it. 
And so, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want you all to be afraid of the Bible and just make sure that you get the uh, main points as long as you know that God has um, died for your sin and that he rose again, um, thou shalt be saved and and that you love, you know, love covers a multitude of sin. Now, that one I do care about because now they change it to, they change in love and to charity and charity and love is two different things. And so you can't substitute some things some words can be substituted for without changing the meaning but some words can't like you can't substitute charity and make it mean love you can't um charity don't cover a multitude of sin you know it's love and so that's just some of my um thoughts for the day i had a two-parter but i wanted to focus on one at a time so I just encourage you, all of you all to just get what you can get out of the Word uh, and why we have the Word. Make sure that you study it and put it in your heart because finding the changes, you know, that, that, that uh, messes with the opportunity to get what we got left in the Bible. You know, um, and so... That's my thought for the day, you know, and thank you.